Logical Fallacies Ad Populum This fallacy is generally categorized by an appeal to mass enthusiasm or popular sentiments in order to make a conclusion rather than good arguments. But mom, all my friends are going to the party. I should go too. Of course, we all know the counter to this. Well, if all your friends jumped off a cliff, would you jump as well? My counter to that counter is, well, I might be so depressed that indeed I would. Humor aside, this is often used. We appeal to the popularity of our own social structure or group. Everybody that we know is doing X, therefore we really need to or want to do X, whatever X is. 89% of all dentists recommend you use this toothpaste. Whoa, is this really an ad populum? But the dentists would know what they're talking about, right? They're experts in their field, right? Shouldn't we trust what they're recommending? Well, not on those grounds alone. Yes, they are dentists. Yes, it might be true that they're recommending it. However, it might also be true that the advertisers are just making it up and that 80% of all dentists have not really recommended this. We need to do more research to find out. Why are they recommending it? Have they been paid off? Is it really useful? How does it compare to other brands, etc.? These are important, critical questions to answer before we have a legitimate argument from which to base a decision upon. We have to ask the question, is it okay to use the popular opinion of the society around us to make a choice? Well, in everyday life, we often find ourselves doing this. We will make decisions based upon popular ideas and trends within our own circle of friends, our own society at large, or our own culture, or even based on our own world view, which encompasses a larger society of sorts. However, there is a note here, and it is a very important one. Do not appeal to popularity to try to determine the truth. Also, do not appeal to unpopularity to try to determine the truth. It is unfortunately and realistically true that oftentimes we will go along with a popular opinion because we might fear the contrary. It might mean my very life if I was to challenge those around me, and especially the government. If something were to happen and the United States government suddenly became corrupt and decided to go on a rampage war that I was extraordinarily against, I might have to sacrifice my freedom and even my own life in order to protest such an action. Some people in Germany during the Nazi reign did that, and they died for their actions. Gandhi is another popular example who stood up against the popular and said no. Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, and we could go on and on. Those who changed society put their lives on the line to go against the popular sentiment. They know what they're risking, and they know why they are risking it. Just because the majority of people think something is right, doesn't mean that thing is right or true. The flip-flop of this, I think a good example, might be the homosexual community. They are struggling for the ability to be married. Because they are unpopular, does that automatically negate their arguments for having this right? No, of course not. Simply because they are a minority does not necessarily automatically negate whatever arguments they might bring forward to the table. Because ad populum is not a useful way to determine truth, it is something we should try to avoid. Unfortunately, again, we might find ourselves going to it or going along with it because it seems right. If there's no other arguments available, it might be prudent to go with what the majority thinks, feels, or believes. But that doesn't necessarily mean what the majority thinks, feels, or believes is, in the end, 
a true thing. In the comments below, list some ad populums that you believe have been committed, and I'll let you know whether they are or if they're not, and I'll explain why. Until next time, subscribe to me, because all your friends have.